is Katie Jane from Hoover Public Library. I'm so glad to talk to you, Deer Valley kids, about the books you can buy at your upcoming book sale. There's going to be a lot to choose from, and I can't talk about them all, but I'm going to highlight some of the ones for third and fourth grade. We're going to start with The Past. This is a brand new series called Blast Back, and it's a true series. This is not some made up story. This tells you what really happened during World War II. Now, some of the information you may think you already know. You may read a page and be like, oh yeah, I knew that. But then you'll turn the page and whoa, new information. Plus, there's some really cool little sketch art to help you get a better picture about what was going on. Was it really a whole world war? What was going on everywhere else when people were fighting in Germany and Poland and France? You'll find out when you read Blast Back, World War II, written by Nancy Olin. Our next book is also a blast back, but not in that series. And it's a historical fiction, which means it's a made up story inspired by real events. This book is called Finding Someplace by Denise Lewis Patrick. And this is about a real girl who on her 13th birthday, her world changed forever. Not just because she turned 13, which is a major milestone, but that was also the day that Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans and New Orleans was never the same again. Find out how it affected this girl and maybe lots of others when you read Finding Someplace. Now this book is not serious and it is not true. This is first in a series about a guy named Timmy Failure. The first one is called Mistakes Were Made. Now Timmy Failure is a boy who thinks he's a world-class detective but really, he is totally clueless. In fact, the clues will be right in front of his face and he misses them. Luckily, he has lots of people to help. His friends at school, his enemies, his mom, a hover vacuum, and most importantly, his partner in his detective agency, a 1,500 pound polar bear. Yes, polar bear. If you like funny things like Calvin and Hobbes, or if you're into mysteries and think you're a pretty good detective, you may want to help Timmy Failure, Mistakes Were Made by Stefan Pastis. This one is also in a series. This is not book one. This one is number two. It's called Like Bug Juice on a Burger. Now I know that sounds a little gross. And some of you are thinking, Miss Katie Jane, that book is a little pink. But this is not some girly book. Yes, it is about a girl. Eleanor is on her way to summer camp. And kids are usually excited about summer camp. There's awesome things there. But this girl, she's a little worried because like there's bugs at camp. And also the worst thing of all, food at camp. Disgusting. And then when she gets there, she just suffers something even worse than bugs and camp food, swim class. She feels like she's over her head. She feels like this is a summer disaster. But pretty soon, she realizes that if she opens her eyes, all these disasters, all these belly flops, actually are something pretty awesome. Bug Juice on a Burger by Julie Sternberg. Now these next few books are all inspired by classic tales that you know. This one, the newest one by Ben Hatka, is called Mighty Jack. You see a boy named Jack? You see what looks suspiciously like a beanstalk? What story do you think this could be about? Oh yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk, except this does not happen long ago and far away, not once upon a time. This is a modern boy who lives right now, and it's summertime and he's in charge of taking care of his autistic sister, his sister who never speaks, until one day she says, hey, buy these magic beans. What can he do? She spoke, it's a miracle. He buys the beans, and it is the best mistake he ever made. This book is a super awesome retelling of Jack and the Beanstalk, and it's not a traditional novel. Nope, Ben Hatka gives you the comic book version. Take a look, Mighty Jack. This next book is in a series also inspired by fairy tales. The first one, which was called Hamster Princess, is about a hamster who has been cursed to sleep once she turns 12 years old. Does that sound like something you've heard of? Sleeping Beauty maybe? Exactly. But in the version with the hamster, instead of trying to hide herself away from the curse, instead she thinks she's invincible. 
Harriet the Invincible. And in the second book, it's not just about being a sleeping beauty who happens to be invincible. Oh, no, no. This one is of mice and magic. It's about 12 dancing princess mice and the curse that's upon them. And the only one who can save the day? Harriet, of course. But there is a problem. The king who has these 12 daughters, he doesn't think a girl can save the day. Read this and find out just how wrong he is. Hamster Princess of Mice and Magic by Ursula Vernon. Now this book, it may not be a fairy tale that you recognize right away, but it has a lot of different things from the magical world you've heard of before. Except this one is called Upside Down Magic. And that's because in this book, all the kids who are supposed to be able to do magic, instead, everything goes wrong. For example, one of them is supposed to be able to turn into any creature at once. It could be a kitten, it could be a dragon, but this girl can only imagine magic herself into be a kitten dragon. That is not cool. There's another kid who's supposed to be able to control fire, instead, ice. Another kid, we don't even want to talk about what happens when the magic goes wrong. So these kids are all sent away from their magical peers. It's supposed to be the worst thing that could ever happen, to be pushed away from everything you've ever known. But their upside down magic leads them to a school and a group of friends that they will never forget. This is first in a series by three different authors, Sarah Mlynowski, Lauren Miracle, and Emily Jenkins, all great in their own right, and together, upside down magic. Now this next book is not a fairy tale. This is not even just one story. This is a collection of 11 true stories about famous athletes. It is called Rising Above, how 11 athletes overcame challenges in their youth to become stars. Have you heard of LeBron James? Have you heard of Stephen Curry? Have you heard of this guy right here, Tim Howard? All of them were told that they didn't have what it takes to be successful. Stephen Curry, they said he was too small to ever play professional basketball. He's like one of the biggest names there is in the NBA. Tim Howard, he has Tourette's syndrome. He couldn't control his language. He couldn't control his movements. He was told he'd never be anything. He's a world record holder for most saves in a World Cup. Every story in here is filled with stuff like that. And so you may think you've got all these things holding you back, but really you don't. Because if they can overcome this, if they can rise above, you can too. Read Rising Above by Gregory Zuckerman. This last book asks a very important question over and over and over and over again, but it never gets boring. This book is called The Book of What If? Questions and Activities for Curious Minds. Anywhere you open in this book, there is a question what if you, and then it tells you the answer, like, what if there was no you? What if there was an ability to teleport anywhere you wanted? What if society were truly altruistic? Whoa, that's a real big one. Hmm, what if your parents couldn't tell you what was right and wrong? Whoa, that sounds like a big one too. It asks questions, and then it has information of it under it, but does it tell you the real answers? No. The book of what if is trying to make you use your brain and really think about what could happen. It never tells you what's the right or the wrong answer. It just wants you to think and think and think. How many questions do you think are in this book? Oh my goodness. Questions all the way for 200 pages. And every question only covers two or three pages. That is a lot of questions. That means your mind's gonna be working overtime. I can't wait to hear all about it next time I see you at Deer Valley or Hoover Public Library. The Book of What If? Questions and Activities for Curious Minds. It's by Matt Murray and Andrew R. McHugh. All right, I told you we didn't have time to go over all of them, but we went over some great ones. And I know you'll find even more when you're at your book fair at Deer Valley. And also, you can always find them right here at Hoover Public Library. Thanks for letting me talk to you. Bye-bye.